Barb, are you still there? I'm just closing. How do you lock up again? When you start to punch out, just make sure all the doors are locked. Turn the back light off, but uh, leave the rest on. When you leave, um, don't forget to set the alarm. Yes, but do you still serve people while you're cashing out? Well, regular customers. I never let in anyone unless I know them. Okay. Thanks, Lynn. Bye. I know her, man. She goes to Clarkson High. To the corporation. I see my brother Yui is dancing. But where's brother Clyde? He wasn't feeling well flipped, brother Eddie. Before or after? After? After the business? At least he's a professional. <laughs> My darling, will you excuse us, please? The men have to talk business. So, how did we do? 42. $42, man, is that all? Well, 42 each. On the night of September the 23rd, 1983, Barbara Turnbull, an 18-year-old high school student from Mississauga, Ontario, was shot in a Becker's milk store where she worked part-time. Miraculously, Barbara survived, but the bullets severed her spinal cord. Barbara, an avid camper who loved the outdoors, was rendered quadriplegic for life. Four suspects were soon arrested and charged with armed robbery and attempted murder. My name is Edward Greenspan, and the story you are about to see has been recreated from trial documents. If some of the things during the next hour surprised you, remember, there is nothing more surprising than reality. Mm -hmm. 